Hello and welcome to the second geostatistic course with QGIS and R. The main topic of this course is exploratory data analysis, B variate analysis. In this second lesson of the course, we are going to see what correlation coefficient to use and why, and also we are going to be running some scripts created with R in QGIS. Then we are going to talk about parametric and non-parametric test. For the parametric one, we are going to be talking about the Pearson's correlation coefficient. We are going to see the definition and the assumptions that we have to cover in order to use this coefficient. We are going to do the same for the non-parametric one. And in this case is going to be the Spearman's run correlation coefficient. We are going to see the definition and also the assumptions that we have to cover to use this kind of coefficient. We are going to analyze all the assumptions one by one and we are going to put uh, some examples. The first assumption is the scale of measurement. Then we are going to talk about the different scales we have. For example, nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. And we are going to see the graph that we can create and the conditions of this kind of scales. Later, we are going to see the second assumption related to the test of normality. The next assumption is related with the homogeneity of the variance, known as a homostelasticity. Then we are going to see a couple of uh, tests and we are going to create the scripts and we are going to run that ones in QGIS. The fourth assumption is about the sample size. In this case, there is nothing else to add. The last assumption is about the relationship between the two variables. And we are going to see the definition of monotonic and a few examples. In addition, in this lesson, we are going to modify a little bit the script that we created in lesson one to add the exact number of bins we want for each variable. And we are going to see how to create this awesome uh, graph where we have the scatter plot and we have also the marginal box plot with the median, the mean, and this graph, it is a really good one to see the type of distribution of our variables. This course is not available in YouTube. If you want to have access to the course, just go to the GeoRGV community at gscourse.online, then go to courses, select this course. As you can see, the price is $30. Then once you register, you can go inside the course and see the lessons. At the moment, we have a couple of lessons but I'm going to be adding approximately one lesson per week. Also in the lessons, you can download a file where you have all the scripts that we are using in QGIS. And you have a section over here that if you want to make any question related with the course, I will respond. Remember that the price of the course will be increased once all the lessons are low added then now it's a great opportunity to get the course with a low price. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video and see you on the next lesson.